Hello guys, today I want to show you another example of Laravel Livewire. For those of you who don't use that framework, I will try to convince you maybe to try. And for those who do use Livewire, this may be an example that may be just useful in your future practice. So imagine the list of posts and you need to have a voting. Similar to Reddit or any social network or forum. Sorry, I don't have design, I'm not a designer, it will be just plus or minus. And imagine you have a page and you want to have plus or minus with validation if you are already a voter, so you have voted for that post. Or if you haven't, you just go plus or minus, but at the same time on the same page, if you try to vote again, another validation should appear. So imagine you would do that without Livewire. With some kind of jQuery or Vue.js framework, you would probably post an Ajax call to the server, like post vote. Then you would validate if it's still available for voting for that user. Then you will probably have to deal with authentication, like Laravel Sanctum or Passport, whatever. And then returning the errors or success and recalculating that field. And this is an example where Livewire shines because it makes the same procedure easier without doing any API calls, or in fact they are done for us behind the scenes, and we as Laravel developers stick to only Laravel. So step by step, after installing Laravel Livewire with Composer, I run one command, php artisan make Livewire post votes. It creates a Livewire component with two files, post votes component and the blade file. You can consider that as controller and blade. And inside of that blade, we do something like this. So every block, this visual block, will be a mini blade file with two links. Vote up, vote down. And then we will show votes sum for that post. And if voted, then we show the error. And then we include that in index blade in the list of articles of posts in the for each. We include that similar to any blade include, just live wire, with two parameters, post ID and vote sum for this particular post. Now, this is powered by live wire component, which is another file that has been generated. And in here, in that component, we have public properties of post ID, current vote sum, and voted or not voted. This is by default false. Then we have a method called mount, which is similar to constructor in any PHP class. This is where we just assign public variables from these parameters, so post ID and vote sum. We do that assignment to avoid another SQL query to query the post. So we are passing the post ID and the sum already from here, from the blade, because we have that post already in blade. Then method render just renders post votes, no more logic here. And the main part is happening in here, wire click prevent vote. Wire click is a method to perform process the click on any link or a button. Dot prevent means that it would prevent from default behavior from this one. It's similar to JavaScript prevent default. And this parameter means that it will call the method from Livewire component with this parameter. And the method, you don't need any API calls, you just specify the methods in Laravel controller, in Laravel language. So vote and the parameter. And here you do all your backend logic. So if there is a vote by that user, then this vote, it becomes true and we return and we don't do anything else. But then after every method call, render is recalled again. So refreshing that part, we rendering all HTML. So what happens now? If there is a vote, then this vote, it becomes true. And then while we rendering that blade, this becomes true and then we see the error message. So if I click on another post which I have already voted on, this is exactly what happens. Otherwise, if it's okay to vote, we create the vote record, we increment or decrement vote sum on the post, and then we update the public property of vote sum, which again re-renders the whole blade, and that vote sum is with new value. And that's it. What happens under the hood for those of you who don't know Livewire? For example, let's refresh the page and let's see the network requests. So we click here and there is a post votes request that returns this HTML. So it returns all the HTML and refreshes all of that block. We click again, same thing happens. If we click on unvoted posts, same thing happens, just HTML is different with plus one. So this is how it is relatively easy to implement that voting in Livewire. 
instead of doing API calls with Ajax or jQuery or Vue.js. So if you are a core backend Laravel developer at your core in your heart and you don't want to learn too much JavaScript or Vue.js, Laravel Livewire may be a solution for you. If you want to learn Laravel Livewire from scratch, I recently released a new course, Practical Laravel Livewire from scratch, so you can check that out or other courses on my Teachable.com platform and see you guys in other videos.